Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about histology of teeth. Teeth is composed of three specialized tissue, enamel, dentin, and cementum. Enamel is the hardest tissue in our body. Dentin is the second hardest tissue in our body. And cementum is as hard as the bone. The enamel is hard, thin, translucent, acellular, mineralized tissue that covers the crown of the teeth, consists of 96% to 98% hydroxyapatite crystal of calcium. It is composed of enamel rods that span the entire enamel layer. Dentin is the most abundant dental tissue. It lies deep to the enamel in the crown and cementum in the root. Its unique tubular structure and biochemical composition supports the more rigid enamel and cementum overlying the surface of the tooth. Cementum is a thin, pale yellowish layer of bone-like calcified tissue covering the dentin of the root of the teeth. Cementum is softer and more permeable than dentin and is easily removed by abrasion when the root surface is exposed to oral environment. So in the receding teeth in the old person, cementum is lost very frequently. Structure of a teeth, we have the crown, neck also called cervix, root is here root, we have the enamel, dentin, and we have the we have the cementum here, pulp of the teeth, root, apical foramen. Pulp is a loose connective tissue with rich blood and nerve supply. It also contains some lymphatics surrounded by dentin and communicate with the periodontal ligament via the apical foramen. Enamel produced by aminoblast, dentin produced by odontoblast, cementum produced by cementoblast. Okay. The hardest substance of the body consists of 96% to 98% calcium hydroxyapatite and 4% organic material that is enamelin and water. Enamel calcifies as parallel enamel rods in a process guided by the protein amylogenin after secretion from columnar epithelial cells called amyloblast in the enamel organ of the embryonic tooth bud. Enamel is a non-vital substance because amyloblasts die before the tooth erupts into the oral cavity. The body cannot repair enamel. Amyl blast or columnar cell elaborate enamel daily, four to eight micron segment, micrometer segment, with formation of enamel rods. They are prismatic in shape, like prisms. Successive rod segment sequences of hypocalcified and normally calcified enamel forms stira of regius. Okay, so here section of a tooth bud cellular relationship during enamel formation. Here is the we are getting the enamel here. So we we'll get the here is the enamel. So which we get the amyloblast, we got the dentin, this is pre-dentin, and we'll get the odontoblast here. Okay. Okay, so if we go there again, 
in this image amyloblast produces 10 ml dentin ml junction here dentin is formed by the odontoblast okay dentin forms the bulk of tooth composed 70 percent of calcium hydroxypatite and the second hardest substance in the body dentin is yellowish in color high degree elasticity and contain type 1 collagen associated with proteoglycan and glycoprotein dentin is produced by odontoblast derived from neural crest cells contain dentinal tubules and that tubules contain the nerve fibers from the pulp and maintains the association with dentin for the life of the of the tooth okay through the tubule nerve may go to the dentin a enamel junction initially deposited as pre-dentin which under the influence of dentin phosphoprotein and dentin siloprotein is mineralized to dentin alternative layers of normal calcification and hypocalcification forms lines of oil dentin has the capacity of self repair and reparative reparative dentin deposits within reduce within the pulp cavity reducing the size of the pulp chamber that may happen cementum overlies the dentin of the of the roots compose 50 percent of hydroxypatite is equally hard as bone cementum does not resorb as readily does bone and is avascular contain type 1 collagen with associated proteoglycan and glycoprotein collagen fibers of the periodontal ligament surface fiber are embedded in the cementum cementum can be resorbed by odontoclast odontoclast are like osteoclast like cells can resorb the dentin too that is very essential for tooth eruption Tooth pulp. Tooth pulp is composed of loose gelatinous connective tissue. It resembles embryonic connective tissue. Even in adult, it has rich blood and nerve supply. It also contains some lymphatics. Vessels and nerves enter and exit through the apical foramen at the tip of the tooth root. Tooth pulp has three zones odontoplastic zone, cell free zone, and cell rich zone. Cell region contains fibroblast and mesenchymal cell and surrounds the pulp core. The core of the pulp lacks adipose cell and occasionally houses pulp stone due to calcification. The nerve fibers are of two types sympathetic and pen carrying sensory fibers of risk cow plexus dental pulp and dentin okay this is the odontoblast this dental pulp odontoblast will go through the table of the dentin okay odontoblast it contribute in the formation of the dentin the bulk of the tooth this is the loose connective tissue embryonic form of connective tissue is the dental pulp so the odontoblasts are close to the pulp so for any region if it is multiplied too much then it may compromise the pulp cavity and there may be stone formation in the pulp clinical correlation caries so it happened if there is a crack in the in the enamel bacteria accumulates in the defect of enamel produces acid and decalcify the enamel so it is important it can be prevented by getting fluoride containing toothpaste or maybe fluoride gargling may help 
and it can prevent the the fluoride is added to the melotrop municipality water or the city water and that prevent the bacterial the acid from a bacterial decalcification of the teeth so fluoride is good dentin is pain sensitive and has sensitive fiber closely it is associated with odontoblast their processes and the dental tubes cementum does not resorb readily as bone a property that odontoblast use to their advantage in moving improperly positioned teeth with correct force on a teeth the tooth socket could be reshaped and the tooth can be moved to the right position hemorrhage in the pulp may cause discoloration of the teeth it does not necessarily make an a root canal surgery a lot of cases it may disappear eventually highlight parts of tooth crown neck root canal enamel dentin cementum tooth pulp apical formation of the root period periodontal ligament and alveolar process of the maxilla and mandible pulp cavity ameloblast enamel drop calcium hydroxy apatite crystalline protein matrix odontoblast cementoblast okay and also cementoclast okay we have we have gone through that part those part okay and that's all about the histology of the teeth if you have any question about tooth histology please feel free to ask me please share the information with your friends have a nice wonderful and blessed day and please don't forget to subscribe me don't forget to support me again good night